Well, I know I'm a few months late probably on this, but uh, this video also goes out to Mr. Uh, Donald Sutherland who passed away back in June. Uh, legendary actor and he appears in this music video that we're about to watch. Um, so my condolences to him and his family, obviously. And uh, let's go. Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. Damn, I know I am. My team won. We blew out the Cardinals. Absolutely demolished them. Gotta give me something. We haven't been anything for the past 20 years. Ever since, actually 30 years. Since I've been alive, my team's been garbage, so let me have my fun. Um, <laughs> we're gonna be listening to uh, Miss Kate Bush once again today. It's been a while since we've listened to her after we went through the entire ninth wave. Uh, I guess the second side to the album we're listening to again today. We're gonna be listening to the track called, uh, it's called Cloud Busting, I believe. There's a music video that goes with it. Obviously, Mr. Sutherland in it. Um, it was a, it was conceived by Terry Gilliam and Kate Bush as a short film. It was directed by Julian Doyle. Um, it features Donald Sutherland, like I've already said, playing the, real, uh, the role of Wilhelm Reich and um, Bush in the role of his young son, Peter. Um, there's a, This is actually based on a true story, obviously. Um, the guy, he developed a thing called cloud busting, I guess. I don't know if he developed it or he was like really big on it. It's one of the, either one, but the music video follows the, I guess, the life and the struggle of the father and the son. So I'm interested in hearing that. And it's Kate Bush, so of course, I'm down to listen to whatever by her. Uh, so this goes out to our patron, Lee S, a fellow Lee. Thank you indeed. I appreciate you, my friend. If I could put these headphones on, I could do even better things probably. All right, here we go. And I'll link my uh, Miss Kate Bush playlist up there if you'd like to go watch that. I've done a bunch of stuff by her um, and she's awesome. She really is one of a kind, absolutely one of a kind. All right, Cloud Busting by Kate Bush. The official music video. Three, two, one, go. I still dream of Organon. I wake up crying. You're making rain, and you're just in. She's so tiny compared to him. That's great. Must be some kind of camera trick or Strings 
love the space, but it's also very... What's the word? I don't know. It's got space, but it's not empty, you know? It's you, me. Such a good actor, man. Daddy. Not Edison is his rival. And if you know that reference, good for you. You know that's basically what <laughs> Edison did. Very con convincing actress. She's really good. Snare. It's just unmatched, bro. Every single one of her songs is a fully developed world. It's crazy. That really was like a short film. It told that story very, very well, very quickly, honestly, too. Um, I don't know if that's actually what happened. I don't know <laughs> if he got arrested and then like, you know, it was a Hollywood moment, you know, and the kid barely missed the car and the dad was like, hey, turn the machine on, you know, maybe it happened. I don't know. But um, man, honestly, the video was great. But that song, it, no matter when I listen to her, it's just always so touching in some way. And it's always like relevant. To something that's like happening in my life at the very moment when I listen to the song, you know, and I guess that's just what we do is we were we relate the songs to our own lives and such. And um, I don't know, I, I, I was thinking about that because I lost my dad really young. And I've been thinking about if, you know, if Danica lost me really young, um, what the effect would be. Obviously, it'd be terrible, but, you know, I, I lost my dad very young and I was lost for a very long time and I got very lucky and I got out of the life I was in, you know, but, um, I don't know. I don't know if that would happen to her, you know, it's just thoughts I ponder sometimes. My apologies. Um, but hopefully I'll be around for a long time. Um, <clears throat> Kate Bush, 
lead and backing vocals, keyboards, and the string arrangements. Okay, I thought I'd say that was the highlight other than the, well, honestly, yeah, that was the highlight there, the keyboards and the strings. Um, Stuart Elliott and Charlie Morgan on the drums. And then here we go. Patty Bush, John Carter Bush, Del Palmer, Brian Bath on backing vocals, the Medici string sextet, and Dave Lawson also did the string arrangements. Um, and this came out in 1985, I believe, right? Yep, this is Art Rock, New Wave. The video, I guess, is a longer version than the actual song itself. I don't know if they just added some stuff because it was, you know, it was longer or what. Um, but it's taking inspiration from a 1973 book by Peter Reich. It was a memoir, actually, uh, A Book of Dreams, which I saw uh, the Kate pull out of Donald's uh, kind of jacket pocket or whatever. I saw the book right there. Um, which apparently Kate Bush read and found deeply moving. The song is about uh, the very close relationship between psychiatrist and philosopher Wilhelm Reich and his young son, Peter. Told from the point of view of a mature Peter, it describes the boy's memoirs of his life with Reich on their family called Orgonon, which where the two spent time cloud busting, a rain making process which involved using a machine and designed, okay, yeah, I was right, built by Reich, a machine called a cloud buster to point at the sky. The lyrics further describe uh, the elder Reich's abrupt arrest and imprisonment and the pain of loss the young Peter felt and the helplessness at being unable to protect his father. <laughs> well, there you go. See, now it even hits even closer to home. Um, that's how I felt too after my dad passed. I, I, I racked my brain because I guess everything has to be about me at the end of the day. That's, I guess, how it was back then. I was an only child, so, like, I, you know, only child syndrome and such. Um, I, it had to be my fault. You know, for some reason, I kept trying to find a way in my head. You should have, I don't want to share them because it's a little too personal, to be honest. But some of the reasons that came into my head for why I may have been the cause of my father's cancer. You know what I'm saying? It was so strange. I don't know. I don't know why I did that or you know what I'm saying? It wasn't very healthy probably either. Uh, but obviously I know now that I had nothing to do with it, but I did for a while. Um, <clears throat> I'd say that if anything, um, I really enjoyed the strings. Uh, the two arrangers, Kate and the other guy I mentioned, um, they did a wonderful job kind of pacing the song and building it around those strings. And, um, and then when those keys come in, I don't know if it's like a what kind of synthesizer? Because we're in the 80s. This is like 85, so it could be whatever. I don't know at this point. If it was older, I'd know it's like the Fairlight CMI or something, you know. Um, but this is uh, it, when the keys did come in for that uh, part, I guess it'd be the bridge or whatever. Um, they just kind of, when I've noticed that about her music with the keys and her playing keyboards or whatever, it, it's very, I don't know what the word is. Like I always say, it's spacey and atmospheric, but it's more than that too. It's like it's, um, it's so lush and deep sounding, like every note that comes out of whatever's being played that she does, it's just got so much um, emotion and so much meaning to it, you know? And I really enjoy listening to her, man, I really do. Um, the ninth wave, that whole thing, uh, the, the second half of Hounds of Love or whatever, it was absolutely fantastic. So it's nice to knock another track off the list. Um, he actually wanted me to do the title track originally, but then I found out cloud busting was a thing and it was like a couple minutes longer because the first one was like three minutes. That wouldn't be much of a video, you know? I, I would still do it, obviously, but I like, you know, making it a little bit longer to have a little more meat on the bone. Um, and Kate, you know, does, you know, this is more of like a, an autobiographical, well, not, her, not for her, but it's more of like a real life sort of situation. So there's not much like abstract context that you can take out of it. It's pretty straightforward, but you can always take like personal meaning out of things like that. And it, what it told me is that I need to spend as much time as I can with my daughters because um, you never know when your time is going to be called. You never know uh, when the jig's up, basically, <laughs> you know, and uh, when the jig's up, you know, when the music's over. I love that. Thanks, Jim. Uh, it's, uh, you yeah, know, it sucks, but that's just how life goes. You know, I, I got exposed to it such a <laughs> at such a young age that it phases me, but it doesn't. And I lost so many people to um, overdoses and all kinds of uh, things. Not even just that. Uh, like I said, most of my friends are dead, unfortunately. It sucks. Um, and that's, and I, I'm not, I just turned 30 recently. So, you know what I mean? Like, I'm young. All my high school friends are like, no, uh, it sucks. <clears throat> but I'm not going to leave on a sad note like that. Uh, if you guys have any other suggestions by Miss Kate Bush you think I would like, please leave it down below. I will definitely check it out. I love this lady. She is the best. Um, 
like I said, nobody touches her in uh, terms of atmosphere and just voice period. Like her voice is so unique and so haunting, but just the atmosphere of all of her songs, it's so lush and alive. Like I said, it's like a fully fleshed out world basically, like within every song. And I think that's just incredible. She's an incredible artist, she really is. And um, rest in peace to Mr. Donald Sutherland once again. Um, he was a great one, one of the best. And uh, yeah, it's really missed. Thank you for watching, guys. And thank you again to our patron, fellow Lee. <laughs> Lee S. I appreciate you, my friend. I really do. And uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Got you. Bye-bye. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, you made it through the video. <laughs> That's awesome. You want to join Patreon? <laughs> the link's in the description if you want to. Um, join the $15 tier or up you get one free request a month. The post is going out today for October. So if you want to hop on there quick, your request might get done sooner rather than later. I'm just saying. Uh, but it can run through the entire month, basically from the first to the first. Um, there's also a PayPal as well in the description if you want to join or if you want to send a tip or request in that way. But if you join Patreon, you get access to all of our block videos, our full album reactions, and our patrons only Discord server. And um, yeah, we'd love to have you. See you there.